Hey everyone, it's Kim Dow here and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how I built my houses to give an illusion of a castle from scratch. So first off I paved the area so I knew exactly where everything was going to line up. I had the Joy-Con drift so unfortunately when I was terraforming I kept knocking stuff over by accident but yeah I just made sure that I had enough room on the second layer for two houses because they were going to give that illusion of a castle. Once I finished terraforming the second layer, I paved out some reference points for my home. So here I was just making sure that when you walk through these fences, then the house will just be in front of you, but there'll be enough space. So now I'm just going to give Tom Nook a visit and going to relocate my house. So the most annoying thing about this game is that sometimes things just don't line up evenly. So nothing much I can do about that, I just did what I can, um, I don't know, just tried to see what looks best and then I realised that I wanted my house to be a bit inside the cliff, so I just terraformed two spots down so my house can fit nice and snug. Once the house is placed, I just decided to pave everything at the front and then add some fences. Now I need to make a few silos for the castle look so I needed to farm some materials so I just went to my rock garden got some materials and I'm just in my house now crafting some silos um, we're just gonna craft this first and then I'm also going to craft a stone lion dog to put at the front as well so now I'm just going to put the stone lion dogs down to get an idea of what other things I need add some fences here and there and then I just decided to time travel to the next day so it's just much easier once you've got the house there so you can see what it looks like exactly. Customize the silos to silver and black and then yeah um, put that next to my house. Now for the look I used a bunch of these wedding augers I purchased so I put two at the top for now decided to terraform this part in a bit more so I can add in more organs. I mean at this point I'm just experimenting with different things to see what looks good. I thought that this looked pretty good so I'm just gonna leave that there and then added more organs, more silos, you know, playing around. I changed this around so much because I kept changing my mind. But I'm pretty happy with that so then now I'm just gonna go to the top and then pave everything. I should have done this before I put down everything so yeah I had to literally remove everything and then put the pavement down. I also fenced off some areas, terraformed a bit and yeah went back to paving after removing everything. So just placing down the organs once again and then doing the fences. So I wanted everything to be fenced off just because it looks better. So we put the silos there for now and so far so good. So just seeing where the stone line dogs would fit and then adding, well moving around the silos to see what looks good. And then I decided to go to my second account to move my other house over. So I realized here we have an issue. We did not have enough space for this house because I still wanted to walk to the house and unfortunately with the silo there you can't really do much. So I decided to add one more spot to the right side and then to the back as well just so we can still have fences and you'll still be able to access the two houses in the back. And then of course we have to remove all the fences, pave everything, then add the fences back in and then built the house, I was happy with that then changed back to my main account I was so scared to check if I can walk through or not and luckily I could so I was happy with that um, so yeah I just made some more silos so that looks really good, I love that just adding some tiki torches to give it that Hogwarts feel and then next I also ordered some simple panels and I customized them with the brick pattern I had so yeah, we're just going to customize them. All these are the white panels. Okay. 
Then I'm just going to put the panels outside to cover up the cliff. Now I placed them down and then I just decided to check to see if it's okay. Um, I had to move these bushes because they were kind of in the way, placed more panels down and then at this point I was just playing around once again. Um, I wanted to add a sealo to see how it looks but then I realized it just doesn't look good um, so I got rid of it. Okay it's night time so I decided to add the marketplace flags instead because it fit nicely and just doing the left side with the simple panels and then adding the marketplace decoration. Okay, so I'm also going to add floor lights in the Hogwarts colors. I felt that, yeah, it looked really cool at night time. You can't really see it actually. I'm not sure if I'll keep it, but for now it looks cool. Now going back to my second account, I realized I forgot to remove the mailbox. So I got that removed and then did the paving again. I'm not gonna put the mailbox down, just keep it in my pocket. And then I was testing some things at this point. So I put another marketplace decoration, which I liked. Then I had to make a new account for this so I can have another house support on the left side so it's more even. So yeah, I'm just moving the house and then I realized on the left side I don't have enough room. So I'm just going to go ahead with the construction and then go to my main account. Then just going to terraform the left side to add one more spot. So just doing the paving and then I realized I forgot to remove the letterbox so I have to go back to that account later anyways. And then also I had to um, add the fences. And then at the back I'm actually going to put stairs so we can enter through the back. Now just looking at that, oh I love it. I think it's perfect. So then now I'm going to go and get a ramp. We're going to get the stone staircase. And here I uh, kind of messed up a bit. So I wanted the staircase to be tucked into the back. And when you imagine it, you can't even see it. So I was like, oh, it should be fine. So I kind of terraformed a bit more so we can really push the staircase in to make it hidden. Um, yeah, it was okay at the time. And then the next day when I tried to go down, um, yeah it didn't go very well because you can't because of the organs they're in the way so oh, I knew at this point it was gonna cost me so much but there was nothing I could have done see here the organs were blocking the staircase so yeah I had to end from this account go back to my main account and then demolish the staircase and then we also had to go for a new one. So that cost me like, I think, uh, 300,000 bells. But hey, it's all good. I've been selling turnips, so you girls making bank. So anyway, I decided to terraform a bit to fix it. And then we're gonna put the staircase one spot back so we can actually access it. Um, so yeah, I was praying at this point that it works because I didn't want to waste more bells. So I went back to Tom Nook, got the staircase and actually it fit perfectly. So I am so happy with that. So yeah, it's done. Um, this is supposed to be my Hogwarts castle. I love how it turned out. I believe this took me like five hours to do in total. And I did have to time travel quite a bit just so I can get my houses moved quicker. But yeah, hopefully this was helpful and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you want me to make more videos like this, let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.